Welcome to the second episode of uh, my photography travels. Uh, this morning we are heading to Apple Orchard Falls in the Shenandoah Mountains. Uh, we're leaving much earlier today. We're going to be leaving about uh, 8 15, 8 30 in the morning and uh, hopefully arriving around 11 30. Uh, it's supposed to be a series of small waterfalls, uh, several of them though. Uh, should be a nice five and a half, six mile hike today. I'm looking forward to it. I've got the first cup of coffee ready to go and we're going to stop for a second because, uh, well, it's just the most important part of the day. Uh, anyway, looking forward to seeing what we create and uh, let's go take some pictures. destination uh, well at least the parking lot for the destination uh, we've got a uh, sign here and looks like we're gonna have a, uh, a pretty hike we've got uh, a nice bridge uh, we're gonna cross here in a moment and we're gonna uh, unpack here we stopped a ways back and uh, got a bite to eat so Jessica is uh, grabbing a snack before we hit the road and we'll see where it goes Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. All right, one big important tip when setting up in uh, those slippery conditions. Always make sure a tripod leg, at least one of them, is secured somewhere that's going to be stable, where it's not going to slide. Make sure your tripod is level. I recommend using an adjustable tripod where you can actually lock the legs at different levels so that you can extend one out as needed to provide extra support. If your tripod needs to lean, you need it to lean away from the water. It sounds like a silly thing to say, but you'd be amazed how often you find yourself grabbing your tripod as it slides down the side of a mountain. So make sure you've got two firmly planted ones. You don't always get the third. Sometimes you get lucky. Try to keep it out of the water when possible, though. All right, so we're set up for the first shot of the day. It's going to be a really quick one. You don't want to put on an ND filter on. So we're at... Uh, one second at F22 ISO 100. We're set up here just to blur the creek a little bit. I guess we're at a full river here. Uh, another beautiful stop. There's some nice light hitting the water in parts, so we've got a mix of shadow and light, which should make for a really nice, uh, crisp, clean, just kind of almost mystical picture. So we found uh, this beautiful bridge here uh, that initially we thought was going to be what we were crossing next. Poor Jessica just read the description of the trail we're climbing and it states that the next how far three quarter, three quarter mile is much steeper this is not a difficult hike but it is also not a flat hike uh, this is a true hike uh, it is it is beautiful it is just humid as hell it is probably what 80 85 degrees outside but the humidity is quite miserable uh, I am actually set up right now to capture the bridge here uh, with the water Underneath, actually, we've got, uh, we're back at F22. I'm at uh, 1.3 seconds, uh, and I'm just slightly underexposed uh, to kind of wash out some of the uh, sunspots. After a surprisingly strenuous hike, we've arrived at uh, Orchard Falls, Apple Orchard Falls uh, in Virginia. We are in the Shenandoah Mountains. Uh, it's about a two and a half, three mile hike to the waterfalls. The last three quarters of a mile, it's no joke. It's a serious hike, uh, but the payoff is really spectacular. I 
can only imagine it's gonna be difficult to hear me right now, but I'm getting ready to set up, uh, I'm gonna have to use a 15 millimeter uh, wide open as I can. Uh, I'm gonna be probably F22. Uh, it's just, it's, it's towering. I mean, it's really just massive. And I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to put an ND filter on it and get the scale. It may have to be a series of pictures. guys thank you very much for watching the second episode of my uh, photography adventures uh, that's kind of a wrap for the day I've got a couple of pictures I'm, I'm very 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 happy with I will start displaying those now on the screen uh, there, there was just it's a wonderful day today it was it was a little toasty but that's okay I'd rather it be that I'd rather it be warm and beautiful than cold and miserable uh, but again thank you very much don't forget to subscribe follow me on Instagram at James loving and Twitter at James loving you can also visit jameshloving.com for my photography store. Uh, and uh, any questions you have, feel free to leave in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you very much.